Look, we all do it. We all have this tendency to want to just condemn groups of people, but that is not correct because if anybody could have condemned groups of people, it was Jesus. And he didn't do it. Look at Luke chapter 9, verse 52. And he sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into the village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him, because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou we command fire to come down from heaven, consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them. They were like, hey, you know, we didn't get any saved in this neighborhood. Let's burn it up. Let's burn it down. And Jesus is like, whoa, calm down. He turned and rebuked them and said, you know not what manner of spirit you're up. He's like, this is not the kind of attitude that you are supposed to have that I need you to have. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. That's what we are there to do. That's us. We can put ourselves, now that Jesus is risen and gone to heaven, we can put ourselves in that place. We are not here to destroy men's lives, but to save them through the power of the gospel and the power of the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And they went on to another, another village. Look, people are, people are way too quick to condemn entire groups of people. When I did the, the podcast with Pastor Mejia, he made a comment that I thought was really interesting. Because he said, you know, he said, he's like, for some reason, he said, people from outside California are super quick to tell me about the problems that I'm dealing with living in California. And let me tell you something, that is so true. I have had that happen to me so many times. And if you know people outside of California, I bet you've had it happen to you too. Where you've got people outside of California. I've, I can't tell you how many times I have heard the phrase, California just needs to fall into the ocean. From conservative Christian people. What in a what in a what a wicked thing to say. There are 39 million people here. People get so worked up over a place that they're not even at, and they condemn the entire group of people over what? Over the actions of a few wicked leaders. Kind of sounds like Jerusalem. Did Jesus condemn the entire city over the actions of a few wicked leaders? No, he wept over it. He cried over it. He had compassion for it. It's exactly the same as the situation Jesus was in. I mean, how many people are getting saved in California every single year? How many churches are starting in California? How many churches are growing in California? There are more Bible-believing Christians here than any other state. Fall into the ocean? What are you talking about? There are more people here that are willing and need to hear the gospel than any other state. What are you talking about? We should get rid of it all. There are more children that need to be, that need to hear the gospel, that need to be homeschooled, that need to be brought out of this trash, garbage culture that's in every state, by the way. There's more children here than any other state. Christians should be rushing here. They should be running here, saying this is where the help is needed. This is where the people need to hear the gospel. The most of them anyway. Out of all the states, it's the most. There's more, I've never met more Bible-believing Christians than in this state. People are too quick to just paint with this broad brush and just condemn entire groups of people. If anybody could have done it, it was Jesus and he didn't. And he's our example.